Hey guys. For today's video, I have the new Velvet Story Lip Creams from Hourglass. Now being Hourglass, they're a little bit expensive. So they're 49 Canadian or 36 US dollars. And you get a pretty standard amount, um, 3.6 grams, milliliters, or 0.12 ounces. So they came out with six shades. I picked up the shade Pure, which is described as a rose. And I went to Sephora and I got the worker to, we were swatching them all, like she swatched them all for me in a line on a napkin and they were all pretty similar looking. This is the one that kind of stood out to me the most. It was the most pinkish. Um, the other ones were all, I mean, not huge differences between them. So the other shades are Indulge, which is a neutral rose. Hint, which is a beige honey. Touch is a neutral pink. Crush is a warm berry. And Lux is a rich mauve. Packaging, it doesn't really feel very hourglass to me. Like it's not very luxurious. It's just plastic. It looks pretty. It's just very light. Just not what I think of when I think of hourglass. The applicator though is pretty nice. It picks up the perfect amount of product and it's a little bit pointed, so it helps me be more precise when I'm applying it. Since this is a pretty opaque color, you can't just slop it on and not really look what you're doing. Because the applicator kind of goes into a point, it's almost like lip liner precision. Um, so I just line my lips with the applicator. It's super easy and it doesn't go everywhere. So the actual product itself is described as a lip mousse, and I'd say that's a pretty good uh, description of how it looks and feels when you're working with it. It does feel very smooth and velvety and creamy and whipped. It's super comfortable, easy to apply, and a little bit goes a long way. Like I'm wearing the thinnest layer right now and there's so much color on my lips. And since it's not a liquid, I find it pretty easy to control. So the product doesn't really go all over the place. It's just going where you want it to. I feel like the color applies slightly brighter than it looks in the packaging, which is nice. It could just be the way my lips are, but when I swatch it and just look at it in the tube, um, I think it just looks a bit more brighter on my lips, which is nice. And the finish is not fully matte because it doesn't really dry down, but it is kind of a really soft satin. It's almost matte, but there is a teeny little bit of shine when the light hits. So long-term, it doesn't ever dry down, so it stays transferable, but that's good for me because that means it's more comfortable and it's gonna look better throughout the day. Because so I applied this like half an hour ago and it's still, gonna transfer. I was never a fan of the matte liquid lipsticks because I feel like they just suck the life right out of your lips. But I think this is a good way to get that same look without having to feel very uncomfortable and look like your makeup's just crumbling off. That also means it's gonna wear off gracefully. You're not gonna get that line around your lips and it leaves a nice stain behind too. So it's not a huge contrast to where you have product and where you don't have product. It doesn't really settle into your lip lines. In fact, I think because it doesn't dry down, it actually kind of hides them. So it looks good for the entire time you're wearing it. You don't have to worry about it crumbling off or looking dry or gross. Totally holds up long term. It's not very hydrating, but it's also not very drying. It's pretty neutral and I find it applies super nicely over lip balm. So just make sure your lips are hydrated before you apply it and you're good to go. So I'm a fan. I kind of want to try out one more shade, maybe one that's just slightly less pink than this one. I know I said they're all similar, but this is the one that kind of stood out the most. I really like it um, more than I thought I would. I just kind of wanted to try something new. I haven't um, tried too many products like this. I usually go for something a bit more balmy or hydrating or whatever. It's a good way to get the liquid lipstick look without actually having to wear a liquid lipstick. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Let me know if you'll be trying this one out or if you'll pass on it and I'll see you later. Bye.